Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We believe that every single person has been gifted specific talents by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Annasu ma'adin ka ma'adin al-dhahbi wal fiddah. People are like mines, like mines of gold and silver. People are like gems. They need to realize the potential that Allah has granted them. At Darus Salaam, we have a team of teachers and students that work together to ensure that every person reaches this God-given potential and become a source of happiness, peace, and goodness in this world. Why should our students, or any other Muslim for that matter, settle for complacency and lead mundane lives? Each one of us should aspire to lead a life in which we become a reviver, a game changer in society, ultimately working towards securing the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for both themselves and everyone around them. All this is possible, and the only thing required is a proper environment. In the one-year immersion program at Darus Salaam, students are able to dive into an oasis of traditional scholarship and good company. This oasis cultivates students to begin engaging with the primary sources of deen, the Qur'an and Sunnah, through the Arabic language. Again and again, we have seen this exposure ignite a passion that motivates students to interact with the Qur'an at a personal level. The Qur'an is no longer an ornament far away on a bookshelf, but rather the Qur'an starts speaking directly to them. Slowly, it becomes a guiding force in their lives, developing and strengthening their spirituality, where they now find the ability to concentrate in their prayers. When they speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through their du'as, they gain awareness that Allah is actually present, listening to them, to an extent where they reach a level where the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, فَطُوبَ لِعَبْدٍ جَعَلَهُ اللَّهُ مِفْتَحًا لِلْخَيْرِ مِغْلَاقًا لِلْشَرْ So glad tidings to the one whom Allah makes a key to good and a lock for evil. Where that student is not only spiritually strong, but has reached a level to inspire others and bring a change when they go back to his or her college or university or community. I feel at Darus Salaam, we're able to do so by having our program in a beautiful masjid. The Prophet sallallahu said, أَحَبُّ الْبِلَادِ إِلَى اللَّهِ مَسَاجِدُهَا the most beloved parts of earth to Allah are His houses. Holding classes in this sacred place and having them scheduled around Salah only adds to the spirituality. The masjid provides fresh inspiration on a daily basis, providing the perfect setting for the one-year immersion program. It's beautiful to watch students grow and develop in unique ways. Students often underestimate what they are capable of achieving when they first walk through the doors of Dar al Salaam. With constant encouragement from teachers, and motivation from peers, students grow both academically and spiritually. It's an even more beautiful sight to see students huddled together reviewing their lessons in a corner of the masjid, being busy in dhikr and earnest dua after salah, or after a long week of hard work, unwinding with the competitive games and relaxing all-nighters, fostering those bonds of brotherhood and sisterhood that last lifetimes. So you may be asking yourself, is this program for me? The answer is straightforward. This program is for anyone with a burning desire to better themselves and the willingness to work hard for it. This program is for you to connect yourself with Quran, the life of the Prophet and our tradition of Islamic scholarship so you can reach inside and access that God-given potential and blossom into a better you.